What's up, guys? It's the Mighty Zinc 500 here with another episode of uh, Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 8 Story Mode. <clears throat> Last time we defeated Dong Zhua and uh, got my I got my ass beat by freaking Wu Wu. And today we're gonna move on to the defense of the of Shu Province. We're gonna be doing on a normal mode. Normal mode. Due to the efforts of many brave warriors, the Allied forces emerged victorious in the Battle of Hulao Gate. Dong Zhuo abandoned Lu Yang and fled to Chang'an, but was slain by Lu Bu. Meanwhile, the Emperor fell into the hands of the remaining members of Dong Zhuo's forces, and the land plunged into even further into chaos. I can't even read today. With the land in such a state of confusion, Lu Bei was forced to wander aimlessly for several years. During that time, he agreed to help Ta Kiao. I can't say his name. Ta Qian, who is in charge of Zhu Province, and engage Cao Cao in battle. <laughs> Upon entering Zhu, Liu Bei's popularity enabled him to receive control over the province from Tao Qian. Afterwards, he lost Zhu province to Liu Bu, but fought together with Cao Cao to defeat him. He reclaimed Zhu to or Chu. He has given order to assassinate Cao Cao from the emperor himself. I can't pronounce everything correctly. However, Cao Cao managed to discover the plot against him and mobilized an army in order to defeat Liu Bei. The destinies of Liu Bei and Cao Cao were entwined with each other as Liu Bei prepared to take center stage. Hmm. Were, would Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei be able to defend Zhu province from Cao Cao's fierce assault? Okay, so um, it looks like I'm going to be playing Zhang Fei since uh, really, you know, I, I didn't expect too many people to respond. Apparently I'm going to be playing Zhang Fei, so that's fine with me because I always like playing Zhang Fei. Um, I do have some... Do I have any more... Badass weapons I can use. Jubilation. Okay, what the hell does that do? <clears throat> Recover a portion of your health gauge when you defeat an enemy. Okay, that's cool with me. Uh, let's change our weapon too to something else. Look at these three stars I got here. Guess I'll switch to Padal. Let's try the Padal. This is if I can. I'm gonna make a guess and say this is um. Ziao Jihao Dun's weapon. Ziao Yu Dun, whatever. At last. I get a chance name. to crack some heads. Time to kick some ass. Take some names. So I hope you guys have uh, been enjoying so far. Um, nobody really, you know, I, didn't, I guess I didn't give enough time. And no one really said they wanted me to click on all these people's. Uh, <clears throat> if they want, if you guys want me to read what all these peons have to say, I will talk to major people like Guan Yu here. Zatsa's forces are made inside the castle. They even have reinforcements arriving. The north is surely blocked to them. However, Misu and Jing, Jian Yong have sealed up tight. Yet I hear the enemy commander is crafty indeed. I doubt his schemes will prove easy to prevent. Yeah, this is true. Probably. Alright, I think that's everybody we really need to talk to. Let's go talk to our brother here. The aid we gave Master Yuan Shao has earned us through province. Yet now we are to be driven out again? Zatsa. So he's the type to use his soldiers for his own ambitions. Satsao's forces are being led by a stri strategist called Guo Jia. Their vanguard is already here. Reinforcements will likely be right behind them. All I have done is spread the sparks of war to this place. Quit your mob moping around, brother. If they want to fight, we just have to give them one. I'm Zhang Fei. Nothing's ever going to defeat me. We cannot allow them to well spoke. Shu province any longer. So let's get to kicking some ass. So, um, I've learned a, so a couple more things. Um, the ambition mode, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last episode, I don't think I did. Ambition mode is not what I originally thought it was. It's, um, definitely a lot more in depth. It still has that, um, that whole skirmish, it's like the Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends was, uh, in the Empire mode or Extreme mode, wherever it was, where when you, um, you, you basically choose a character and go through a bunch of stages, but unlike in Dynasty Warriors 4, it, you actually get stuff for doing it. Um, and you get, it, it's kind of um, the combination of Dynasty Warriors 7 Extreme Legend and Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends, and the fact that you're trying to build up a town, much like you were doing in Dynasty Warriors 7 and Extreme Legends. Right, you're trying to like welcome the emperor or whatever. You're doing the same thing, but this time you have a lot more. It's a lot more in depth. Like you have to get materials to build the town instead of just completing stages and further along the story, the more um, developed the town becomes. 
So that's really cool. It makes me happy. You can actually unlock weapons and uh, generals and all kinds of stuff in there. So that's really cool. It makes me happy. Um, as far as showing that off, I don't really know if anybody would want to see that. Um, because it's really just a bunch of really small stages. Um, you know, I can switch characters in between them, but it, it's not really all that. I don't think we'd make a really good let's play, you know, be going through a whole bunch of, me trying to build the town up, you know, and I'd just be going through skirmish after skirmish after skirmish trying to, um, you know, build up. Oh, I remember this freaking mission. This mission kind of sucks, because I couldn't figure out where to go last time, so... Um, I also mentioned that last time, I was like, man, it's, it would be awesome if you could just run up to your horse and hit L2 and he run up and pick you up or whatever. Well, I learned that if you just hold down L2 and then walk up to the horse while he's running toward you, you'll automatically jump onto him, which is really freaking awesome. We shall. We will. I don't want to pick you up. Come here. So, bitch, pick you up. Oh, you like this. So easy. Thing thing is quite strong. He's level 20, so should be able to destroy these guys with no, like relative ease, I should say. So, actually, some of the stages just can't be a bit of pain. Like this level in particular, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But I really like the design, especially with all these damn dragons everywhere and stuff. It's pretty freaking cool. The last time I did this, oh, oh son of a bitch. Looks like they thought of everything. Just when we got the devices up and running, too. Well, we can't just let them ruin all of our hard work. Yeah, this is true. In addition to the reinforcements from the north and west, there are the catapults as well. We have to defend against attacks from three sides. I will handle the reinforcements from the north. Guan Yu, you deal with the ones to the west, and Zhang Fei will take care of the catapults. All right. So. Zhang Fei is approaching our location. Yep, but I'm gonna murder you all. This isn't good. Everyone, hurry up and finish the preparations. I'll try to be quiet. You know, not talk as much during the dialogues in the battle, but they do it all the time, so it's kind of hard. Ah, you some bitch! I'm on your side. Those are my catapults. Why am I getting hit by my own catapults? You know what I say to that? Sometimes I forget you are mere flesh and blood. Get out of here. Come here, you again. You and your freaking whatever they are. I'll keep that. And your weapons. And let's go take care of that green and flashing thing. So last time, like, as you saw, I jumped down a cliff there. And there's no way to get back up that cliff. So basically, I have to walk all the way around to get to where I need to go. Like, after I kill this guy, if I want to get back to Lu Bay and all of them, I have to freaking walk my happy ass from all the way from the bottom up to uh, where they're at. So we will be doing that. So far, I'm really liking this game. Um, there are some issues I have with it. The frame rate can be a little... not. It's not terrible. It's not like Xbox 360 version, but like during fire attacks, the game really does chug down quite a bit. Um, but so far, it's it's a really good game. I'm really liking all the, the blend of Dynasty Warriors, of the past Dynasty Warriors with this game. It's really freaking good. Now it's time for me to catch you. Man, Judge Dunn's weapon got slower as the games went on. He used to be a really fast attack. That didn't work. Still gonna keep Alright, so now that I've beaten this guy, <laughs> I basically gotta run my happy ass. Wait, why would I want to go down? Sounds like they managed to take care of business. Come here. Stop running. I have a message from Lord Guojia. He says for the troops on the front lines to withdraw immediately. I don't think so. He gets to withdraw nowhere. Guojia, the commander of South South's forces has arrived. 
Hey, is that any guy over here? What's well, counting? Something's not right. I think I should finish them off before they retreat. The enemy is putting up a surprisingly strong resistance. I gotta. I guess I gotta kill them before they run away. That's kind of hard. I mean, they're all like. All the way over there. The Some bitch. I don't, I'm not gonna be able to Fire stop all of them. I, go to work. I'll, I'll be able to stop two at max over here. Hmm. The enemy seems to have split its forces in two. Brother, I want you and Jung See, it's like you can either stop those guys right. from retreating, and you will deal with the or I understand. go stop I the fire attack. I'm gonna try. Last time I tried to stop the. Fire attack unit, it didn't work so well. So this time, I'm gonna try and take out these guys. Haha, <laughs> you guys got hit by boulders. Come on, Chong. I'm not done with you. You are your little buddy over here. See now, if I want to get back, no, you don't get to run away. Last time I tried to run all the way back there, and then I still failed to stop them. It's just I don't have enough time. And I can't make it back. There's no like ladder or anything to get back to where they're at. I have to run all the way back. So prepare for some long horse riding sessions. <sighs> this takes forever. Many circles. Yeah, I can't. Go, horsey, fast, run. Do it again. I don't care about my moose out. Go fast. It's like turbo, but why does he go slow towards the end? I guess he's tired. He's like, oh shit. Oh, I'm tired. Oh my god. Stop going slow, horsey. Gotta go. Gotta go kill things. The fire attack unit has infiltrated Shu Province Castle. Flames See, there's nothing I can do about that. Is either go stop those dudes from retreating, which I don't think I even succeeded in doing. But eh, it's all good. It seems my strength was insufficient. Maybe I if I wasn't playing Jing Fei, it would be easier to do. But I don't really know. It appears the fire attack went according to plan. I mean, it didn't tell me that I succeeded in stopping them from retreating, which I don't think I did, because obviously, like three or four people got away. I won't let you down. Okay, so now the town's on fire. Joy, that means if I'm in here, I'm gonna lose a crap. Out of my way, damn it, stupid peons. Stop making my horse rear back. It's, a, it's too freaking weak to run over peons. What the hell? Mobile unit assholes. See, what are you talking Where? Damn it. Porch troop, they did. They got the devices on fire. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It was either do that, and I, I failed at both ends, so, you know, I don't really know what to be saying. That, that leads to another scenario, but I don't really know how exactly to do it. I, I mean, I guess I do. Let's just jump on the horse and go kill the general. Almost got a thousand kills. That kind of sucks. How the heck do I stop them from retreating? They tell me I failed. Eh, whatever. Damn the stage. It takes forever for me to run from one end to the other. I'm gonna have to try this again, like, off screen and see if I can't. Because, you know, like I said, if I can figure out what all, what all, all the conditions are for getting some of the what if stages and the extra stages, I'll show them off. You know, it might take some time. You are a true warrior of the three kingdoms. I know I am. You are enemies of my lord. Shut up, Fatso! Toss you like a rag doll. Yeah, he just like drops his weapon over. I will take that. Come here, Sauron. I don't give a shit about you. Although I do like how he has his weapons back from he has his weapon frag from uh, Dynasty Warrior 4. Which is cool, because before he used the freaking flail, and I didn't really care for it. I was like, why why did they take away his his shield and little thing? It's not necessary. I like his, his shield thing. Focus the attack on that fool. Screw you. Sallying. Airbendering. Go to hell. Shut up, Sun Quan. Sun Chuan. Come here. 
Stupid horse! Why are you so weak? You need to stop sucking. I need the red hair, damn it. Though I have no clue how to obtain red hair, so. Previous games, getting red hair was kind of a pain in the butt because you had to, it was kind of like obtaining a fourth weapon uh, where you had to meet some ridiculous requirements. Pain in the ass, Dynasty Warrior 6 did it the worst because it was like some time based shit. It was really stupid. Alright, time for you to die, Guo Jia, whatever. Explode. Victory is mine. Finally got you. Now, prepare yourself. So you finally got me, have you? Good. Good for you. I seem to have given you quite some trouble already. Can you manage another push? Oh. Is this where I tell you to prepare yourselves? No way. There's still this many of them? Zhongfei, get our brother out of here! Huh? You'll never make it! I'll help! No! Take our brother and go! Quickly! Guan Yu! I will see you again. Go. Now. So there we go. <clears throat> Stage has been defeated. Liu Bei and Zhang Fei were barely able to escape Sa Cao's encirclement of their forces. However, they had lost track of Guan Yu, who had worked to ensure, ensure their escape. Distraught, Liu Bei sought to escape Sa Cao's gaze and call upon Yuan Shao of Ji Province. <clears throat> At the time, Yuan Shao was preparing to fight Sa Cao for supremacy over Hua Bei. Liu Bei was welcomed into Yuan Shao's army and immediately dispatched to battle. In order to agitate Cao Cao's troops on the main battlefield of Guangdu, Liu Bei was instructed to execute a feint towards Runao. Along the way to carry wait, wait, along the way to carry out his orders, Liu Bei came across a familiar face. Zhao Yun. He was drawn by Liu Bei's personality and wished to serve at his side. Liu Bei was still without power and did not have a land to call his own. However, his sense of virtue was gradually starting to shine amidst the darkness of the chaos. Zhao Yun, Liu Bei, and Zhang Fei, with each of them believing in a better tomorrow, they ready themselves for battle. Alright, so there's that. Um, you guys let me know, again, what characters you would like to see in the next episode. If Liu Bei, Zhang Fei, or Zhao Yun. Just tell me in the comments. Until next time, guys. Zhang Fei 510. Hope you have a good one. Take care.